Put your seatbelts on because today's apartment is gonna go fast. It's got two floors and a new kitchen. Plus it's in an elevator building with laundry, which sounds perfect. The only catch is it's between 10th and 11th avenues. Did you know there was an 11th avenue? It's pretty close to the water where you can see New Jersey. Ugh. Who cares? Let's go see it. Here we are in Midtown West, and the train situation's not too bad. We were able to get here quickly, and it looks like we've got an 11 minute walk. This is also pretty convenient. Right here, you've got 8th Avenue, and Midtown and Times Square are right down the street there, along with the Theater District. Right when you get out of the train, there's a full grocery store. The only problem is it's a food emporium, which is basically a knockoff version of Whole Foods. But the reasons why you'd wanna live here immediately become apparent when you get over to 9th Avenue. Just look at all the restaurants. There are so many of them over here. Bar, cafe, bar. Actually, this one's also a market, and it's pretty good. They've got a little bit of everything. You can definitely do grocery shopping in here. Plus, they have soda bread. Right over here, we've got local brick oven pizza. But if that place is too expensive for you, we've got dollar pizza. All new real estate agents survive on this for their first year in business. You can get more than just pizza here, apparently. Next to that, you can get seafood and a haircut or a shoe repair. Over here, you can stock up on the essentials like bongs and white claws. If you're working from home, your boss will love this place. This is one of the many local Mexican places here. And across the street, there's another one. There's a lot of good Mexican food here. Across the street, you can go to Jasper's, which is pretty good. If you're a hipster, you will enjoy their craft beer. And right next to Jasper's is local coffee. Love the artwork on the outside of the building here. Definitely with all these little spots to go out, you're gonna have fun living here, that's for sure. Peruvian cuisine. This spot right here is actually really good because nothing beats Peruvian chicken. You'll be full, I promise. Over here's another Mexican spot, but check this out, 1095 lunch special. In your face, Chipotle. Chipotle is not real Mexican food. Got another local seafood spot right here. Can you have too many places like this? Definitely not. Now the problem with being around so many restaurants is you're probably gonna gain weight if you live here and that's bad because I don't see any gyms, which means your only choice is gonna be to go straight to the urgent care facility. Pizza and chicken at the same restaurant? I didn't know you could do that, smart decision. There's also Mom's Kitchen which has amazing brunch and the menu here is insane. Just look at some of these choices. Try the Bedrock Pancakes, they've got fruity pebbles and whipped cream. I've never had some something bad at mom's kitchen. So the train's on 8th Avenue and all the fun is on 9th Avenue. But after you get west of 10th Avenue, there's really not a lot going on. See, there's nothing out here but a fence and a view of New Jersey. Are we in no man's land? That is the question. The apartment's just down the street here. And on the corner, you've got a deli next to a dealership selling low quality domestic vehicles. They look fun though. Until you run out of gas, which is why you should just buy a Toyota instead. I would love to have a Jeep Wrangler, but it would do me no good, which is why I'm walking. But look at the street, nice and quiet. No businesses, no crazy noise. This right here is the building. Let's head inside and take a look. This place is great. Lots of sun pouring in. And look at this staircase, that goes up really high. Now technically this is a studio, but you might be able to sleep up here. Also, we're on the fifth floor, but since there's an elevator, we didn't have to suffer on our way up here. There's laundry in the basement, and there's actually a good number of washer and dryers. It takes credit card instead of change. And if you have a scooter, no one will get upset if you keep it down here. At least that's my running assumption. The kitchen and bathroom here are also brand new, and I can't wait to check this place out and see what it's like to live here. If you have fun watching this, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I make a bunch of these every single week, and I don't want you to miss 
one. Right here's the front door, then you've got the bathroom, and here is your first closet, which is big enough to hold a door. Anyways, that'll make a good coat closet. And then you've got the kitchen and the living room. The living room is 14 feet 8 inches by 11 feet 1 inch. Because the kitchen's off to the side, all of this can be used however you want. There's your wire for the entertainment center, and across from that you can put a big couch. And if your TV's not atrocious, you can put a dining table next to it. And that's great, you'd have a couch for hanging out, a real table to eat dinner at, not a coffee table. And you can put your AC down here instead of blocking off one of these windows. Now we know the street's not too crazy and the view that we've got here is just that. Perhaps a little boring, but definitely pretty quiet so far. There's another closet here in the living room, and it's actually a good size. I was able to walk in. Does that make it a walk-in closet? Maybe. The kitchen is brand new, and it's nice. You've got a full-size fridge, a massive microwave, a four-burner oven, and they were able to get a dishwasher in here. That is fantastic. But wait, is there a sink sprayer? Yes, there is. And look at all this counter space next to the sink. If someone gets you a bread maker as a housewarming gift, you've got space to plug it in when that person visits and plenty of cabinets to hide it away because you're never gonna use it. Look at this weird cabinet. This is kind of interesting. You've really got a stretch to reach it and I'm not 100% sure what you'd put in there. But what's gonna make or break this place is what we find up here. So let's find out. And look at this, this is great. This feels like a bedroom. No window, but look at all that shelf space. This upstairs area measures 9 feet 4 inches by 10 feet 1 inch. Put a bed right here lengthwise. Across from that, you could put a TV or something else. And right over here, you get an actual walk-in closet. This is so awesome. You've got a couple spots to hang things. You've got drawers. Even this looks useful. I don't know what goes here. But the amount of storage this place has is incredible. In fact, there's so much storage, you could set this up as a Shrine. If you bow down and worship something, that right there is the perfect spot for it. But the only thing that's not gonna work for everyone is that the bathroom is not upstairs, it is downstairs. So you do have to travel down the stairs to get to it. Bathroom's really nice though, it's brand new. And considering the price of this apartment, that's a trade I'd be willing to make. You've got a nice large mirror, which turns into a medicine cabinet. You also get an actual bathtub, which is pretty easy to step into and to step out of. It's not a cramped bathroom. The sink is a decent size, and it looks like we've got a little storage space down here. Look at how clean everything is. I love looking at new apartments. Also, right outside the bathroom, there's another closet. This is gonna be perfect for towels and things. And if you want a studio that's nicer than most one bedrooms, check out the video description for a link to the agent's contact info, and then pick an apartment tour, and I'll see you in the next video.